Hello, I'm back for another review. <sighs> so many things I would like to talk about. Um, one of these things I'm looking for because I just had it. Um, oh yes. Here it is. The I just had the box for it too. Whatever. Um, this is the Tarte the Eraser. Tarte the Eraser. <laughs> yes, let's Tarte the Eraser, damn it. I was lame. Anyway, here it is. It's not focusing. Eh, whatever. It doesn't like you. It doesn't like me either. Um, this one is in porcelain. Zero, zero. And mind you, if anything sticky gets on this, like tape, this is soy ink on this um, applicator majigger. It will peel off the paint. Which I did notice and made me very sad. You can't really tell. Yeah, see my little leaf right there came off. Made me very sad. Right there too. Anyway, here is the... Eh, crap. Here we go. Um... This is a 4-in-1 natural concealer, and it's supposed to be really good for your face, and good for your zits, too. <laughs> it's supposed to um, cover up your zits as well as, um, sorry if I seem distant right now, it's supposed to cover up your zits and your imperfections as well as soothe them and make them go away. So basically, it's got a bunch of good botanicals in it, and as long uh, as well as covering up everything. Um, I'm, I'm pulling up the information. I'm sorry. Should do that <laughs> before. That's way more professional. Anyway, here's what it says on Sephora on the Tarte page. Um, a medium to full coverage concealer. This is buildable. Um, you can blend it out quite a bit, um, but you can also, like, just pat it on just to cover up something that you don't want to be seen. Um, right now I'm using it for my under eye circles. Works pretty well. Also, I have terrible allergies. I'm just going to say this because, you know, I know a lot of people have this problem. Um, you know, when you like rub and rub and rub and rub and rub your eyes, they get so raw, like incredibly raw and they burn and they hurt. And here's the box, by the way. Um, they feel like crap. <laughs> well, this really helps because of all the good stuff that it has in it. Um, it has safflower seed oil, um, Arnica flower extract. Ooh, that sounds so fancy. Um, cucumber extract, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Excuse me. And it is paraben free, petrochemical free, phthalate free. Well, okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm glad it's free of it. Sulfate free. Um, propylene glycol free, fragrance free, gluten free, dye free, talc free, dermatologist tested, made with natural preservative. Ha ha ha. That's a mouthful if I ever heard it. Please note, I do not have a porcelain complexion at all. In fact, I think now that I've been ruined because I sat under the sun too long, I lost my beautiful porcelain skin, I am actually pretty much maybe bare right now so if you want to compare your skin to mine don't because this is porcelain and it only works for my under eyes I can't use it anywhere else unfortunately so I'm thinking about getting bare as a like a blemish concealer <sighs> that makes me sad but um yes here's the box I just knocked over the mirror oh crap don't want it to break Here's the box. Looks sexy. Here's all the information. 
and all that good stuff. Also, this can be used as an eye primer. So if you want to brighten up your eye and then just put eyeshadow on, that's good. And I, you can also use it as a lip, um, lip uh, primer, lipstick primer, I guess. Um, it's 19 ounces or 0.19 ounces rather. That's 5.5 grams, and that's pretty good but it's a little pricey it's twenty one dollars but for all that it does it's <laughs> really helpful whoa shoot <laughs> just dropped it anyway as i was saying wow i trailed um i yeah your eyes just get all crappy because you're rubbing 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 rub because of all the tears I put this like really close to my lash line and over in the corners where it got really raw and this actually helped it. It felt a lot better. Um, it really like it stopped the irritation a lot and covered up the redness really well.